any self-respecting rabbi would distance himself from the Pope, especially uh, John Paul II, because he was uh, very much involved in the Eurasian Jewish Holocaust, making Zyklon B and the IG Farben manufacturing plant there at, at Auschwitz. So these high rabbis betray their own people. These high Protestant leaders like Billy Graham and others who are Masons betray their own people. And these high Muslims like Bin Laden and the Al Saud, uh, the Saud dynasty and others all betray the Muslim people. So at the top, all these leaders are working together and they will never blink at the sacrificing of their own people, quote unquote, ad majorem de gloriam, for the greater glory of God, as the Jesuits say, to bring the world closer and closer to a universal monarchical rule, uniting all religions under the headship of that man of sin, the Pope. Right. Now, once we take, uh, and we've talked specifically before about uh, how they infiltrate these different groups, but I wanted to switch now to not being satisfied with just uh, taking over and infiltrating religions. And I might add, if you look at all the signs now, the Anglican bishops in uh, England now stating they want to put the Anglican Church under the authority of the Pope. Uh, the Pope recently coming out stating in his uh, Good Friday, I guess he's going to state in a new message that he's asking for all Jews to convert to Catholicism. Uh, that will be coming out shortly. I mean, uh, Tony Blair becoming a Catholic. You see this, uh, this kind of uniting of everybody under the Pope in so many different ways. Uh, in fact, uh, somebody on my show mentioned he'd never, uh, it was historical that three presidents never before in the history of our country the three sitting president or three former pre one sitting and two former presidents go to the funeral of a pope this never occurred in the past uh you see all these connections henry kissinger now a pope a papal advisor and it goes on and on and on uh but they're not satisfied so much just with uh, religion uh they want to enter into the political realm of most countries tie the knots together behind and how they operate What's going on now between Israel, Iran, Iraq, our country? How do they manipulate and control at the high levels all these people working for the same cause, a uh, okay. one-world government? Go ahead. Okay, the Black Pope, Jesuit Superior General Peter Hans Kohlenbach, is the most powerful man in the world. He controls not only all the Masonic secret societies, he also controls the Pope and the Roman hierarchy. He also controls the Knights of Malta. He also controls Opus Dei. He controls all the secret societies and all the men of the, that we would call them the historic crusaders. The Knights Templars, which are now the Masons of today, and the Knights Hospitallers, who are the Knights of Malta today. Every branch of the Knights of Malta. And so as he controls these brotherhoods that you enter into on oath, usually blood oaths, it is these brotherhoods who control what I call in my book the Black Pope's international intelligence community. What I mean by that is that the Central Intelligence Agency, the NSA, the Defense Intelligence Agency, uh, the FBI, the Military Intelligence Agency, all these intelligence agencies in the United States are working together under the Jesuits in control of the Archbishop of New York City, Edward Cardinal Egan. And so this is the government that they have in this country. They've divided this country into ten provinces, and there are ten Jesuit provincials over the United States. There is one Jesuit assistant who is there in Rome with the Jesuit Superior General advising as to the political climate, economic climate, and so on of the, all the provinces so as to be able to make calculating moves to further destroy the Reformation in this country. It's the same way in Britain. The Archbishop of Westminster, he control. He is controlled by the Jesuits of Stonyhurst. The Jesuit provincial resides at Stonyhurst, and so he oversees the Archbishop of Westminster, and the Archbishop of Westminster oversees British MI5, MI6 in Scotland Yard. So as you have these archbishops, wherever they might be, for example, you have the Patriarch of uh, Moscow. Uh, he is a Roman Catholic after the, uh, uh, the uh, Eastern Rite. And the Patriarch there uh, of Moscow, he oversees the 
uh, FSB, the F uh, SVR, all the intelligence agencies in Russia. The Vatican runs an international empire, and it has a chain of command. And what the, how they run it here in the U.S. is exactly how they run it in Russia, is exactly how they run it in China, is exactly how they run it in Britain and Europe. And so as we understand this, this pattern, this government that they organize, then we can understand how they rule. So, for example... Uh, Osama bin Laden and, and uh, Hussein, Saddam Hussein, were both high-level Freemasons and CIA assets. There is no Saddam Hussein or Osama bin Laden without them being created by the Central Intelligence Agency. And yet both these high Muslims are affiliated with the Muslim Brotherhood out of the Grand Orient Lodge in Cairo, and so, therefore, these high Muslim Freemasons, along with the, the late uh, uh, King uh, of Jordan, uh, they will do exactly what they are told by Vatican agents there in their court. And as they do exactly what they are told, the, uh, the President Bush and Prime Minister Blair, they will do exactly what they are told by the Vatican agents advising them. At 9-11, for example, the one who was advising George Bush was Knight of Malta, uh, George J. Tennant, who was chained by the Jesuits at Fordham University, the School of Foreign Service. And he was a uh, national security counselor, a very important guy, said it was a slam dunk, et cetera, et cetera. And so, George J. Tennant was the Jesuit's advisor directly to George Bush, and so that he wouldn't go to jail for what he did, he resigned and is now protected. It's the same way with Tony Blair. He has his Jesuit advisors, and he will do exactly what he's told. Now, if these men who are in positions of power over these agencies, uh, over the Al-Qaeda, the Taliban, whatever, if these men do not do what they are told, they are removed with either death or being discredited because the Jesuit order has a very active assassination squad throughout all the nations of the earth controlled by the intelligence communities as well as the international Sicilian mafia which is also controlled by the Jesuits and the mafia the Russian mafia, Sicilian mafia, the American mafia all controlled by the Vatican through high level Freemasonry in the Knights of Malta they work in conjunction with the international military intelligences, intelligence agencies as well as the civilian intelligence agencies and I prove this in my book on the Kennedy assassination that the CIA and the mafia work together and indeed what was portrayed in JFK is absolutely true so this is the system that they work, and we can go into banking. The Knights of Malta control.